What's up, YouTube? Who that comes and coming at you with the little unboxing from uh that Spider Man booth. A box finally arrived, and I'll get more into that later. But I do have a guest who's been waiting patiently because he got his over like a week ago, I think. <laughs> to open up with me, I got Mr. Nola Comics. How you doing, sir? It's it's just been sitting here waiting for you. <laughs> so. <laughs> I appreciate you coming on. We had some people in the chat. Mr. Mike Rogers stopped by. I hope Mike is doing fine. And we had, you know, Officer Joker. He's cracking jokes like always. You know, we got Ruben Guzman and uh, J. Rod Ham. So, yeah, I know you've been waiting for me to get mine. <laughs> and, well, uh, it, it begs the question how do two people that live probably 25 minutes apart from each other get boxes from the same place? <laughs> a week apart, <laughs> and, and uh, oh, and just to update people, I did not change. I see officers. Did you change your Instagram? No, I did not. I'm sharing my wife's Instagram. She is uh, she used to work in events, uh, event manager for Hilton. You know, with all this COVID stuff, you already know what the hotels are going. If you know anything about New Orleans? It's probably voted multiple times in the United States as one of the top tourism spots. So with that being said, there's no tourism, there's no events, there's no conferences. So she is currently, I guess you would say furloughed. And I do this because it's really, she's unemployed, but this is her design company. She started it up a few, maybe about a month ago. She did my daughter's party. She actually did two other parties and she's currently booked to do a baby shower. So. You know, check out what she's gotten. I showed up, did a video previously showing the stuff she made for me as far as uh, packing slips, thank you cards, uh, blank cards that you can write thank you on, little notes on this. People sent AOKs. And that's just the start she's doing. She's she, she, she does she's done t shirts before, she's done stickers, all kind of stuff. So I'm just sharing her Instagram and, you know, you maybe can check it out, see what she's got. You know, if you have an idea to shoot it to her, she'll. Well, she'll tell you what she can do. So that's what my IG is. So let's explain that. <laughs> so to go back to what we were saying about this shipping stuff. <laughs> so shipping fiasco. That's all I can say is Mr. Nolan ordered two boxes. He got his two boxes probably, I would say, what, a week ago? Was it a week uh, ago? Yeah, over a week ago. Over, uh, it's over a week ago. I know. Yeah, I've, had mine, I've had mine for at least 10 days. Okay, so it's over a week ago. To explain the uh, the whole thing about mine, and I'm going to go through it because it's kind of hilarious that I told somebody out first. So my box originally got dropped off on August 7th. We're on oh, August okay. 18th. So my box got, what's up, Norris? Uh, so my box got dropped off August 7th. The as soon as it got dropped off, it says, due to operating conditions, you're Delivery may be delayed the <laughs> same day. <laughs> so from the seventh all the way till uh, the eleventh, could it departed on eleventh. So seventh through eleventh, it stayed in California. <laughs> it didn't move out of California for oh. four days. Well, look this. This was unknown comics. And from the day I got the email that said it's been sent, same thing. But it was in Texas. It sat in Texas in some facility for like two and a half weeks. I don't know. What well, I'm wait yeah, I'm waiting on some from them, too. So mine's probably sitting over there, too. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the postal service and everything nowadays. but And it ain't just the United States Post Office, UPS, it's yeah. FedEx. If you don't pay for what I found out, if you don't pay for that express or next day, this ain't effort. <laughs> yeah, it, it's almost like they're just making a pile in the back room somewhere and picking it off as they can. All right. Hey, look, look, it gets better, all right? Because we're on the 18th. So you're saying, oh, man, it shipped out on the 11th. You should have got it, like, you know, maybe the 13th. Soon it gets to New Orleans. It arrived on the 14th, 2 a.m. 6.30 a.m., I get a message saying, a mechanical ferry has delayed your delivery. <laughs> We're working to resolve the problem in your delivery package as soon as possible. Within four hours, they sent me another message. So it proceeded to sit in New Orleans, Louisiana 
for three days. <laughs> and and I and I and and I would say I can't fault. You know that's part of a booth, but I've had it happen many a times with getting stuff from them. Like it's like it's ridiculous. You know it's. <laughs> I mean, if I'm getting something from them and it gets shipped out, I better be re- ready to get it within a week or longer. So you got a few. Just, you got a few you know, more up in the chat, brother. Oh, uh, let me see what we got in here because you know stream shows up quickly. So we got Mr. Yeah, I said Norris Cali. You got Chad RCG man. <laughs> Man, Chad don't talk to me no more, so I'm going to remove his message, man. He don't talk to me no more. He don't, man, you know, like, like I'm sorry, that sound like, like an old, like, old. he don't call me no more. <laughs> he don't text me. I don't even say hello. Oh, man, Dr. Damn, Pop is time. Yeah, I'm not even, that's why I'm just skipping him. Dr. Pop is time. How you doing, <laughs> sir? Two brothers, how y'all doing? And my boy who's from Hawaii, Mr., you know, Hawaii Punch. Shaka. You know, how you doing, brother? So I wore my little hat in honor of uh, Mr. Comic Jabroni. This is my, just to let people know, this is my Kevin Eastman Turtles hat. He sells them on his uh, on his website, you know, and I bought it. I don't even think, I don't even know if Comic Jabroni bought one, but, you know, I think I told him about it, but, you know, I've always wear this hat from time to time, and it's a pretty cool hat. I like the gray one actually better because the black, you know, you know, kind of like them. Probably gonna switch to gray eventually, but and Chad said poker. <laughs> poker. And you could text somebody. I played poker for a while, but you need to be like, hey man, what's up, bro? What's happening? You know, that's okay, Chad though, bro. Hopefully, whenever you you are returning, we can get back to our Friday shenanigans with the auction and having fun and stuff. So what did Deep Die say? Deep Die got a long message. I gotta put it up. He said, I had 10 packages on my door when I got home last night. All were priority from private sellers. All ordered last Thursday or Friday. <laughs> Your sweet name. Yes, that is true. He. Yes, that is true. Uh, you know, that's funny. Yeah. Hashtag comic Trabroni. I got an idea uh, that I'm going to do. And I wait, wait, is this correct? That's what I was just saying. Jesus Christ, Chad. 13? You must be doing very well at the poker room. I'm about to say, I'll take, I'll take, I'll take back everything you that said. You keep doing what you're doing, brother. Oh my God! Thir- I hope that was three. I hope we meant them with three V thir- 13s and not thirteen. Joker, nobody even wants to hear from you, brother. Take your friggin' first appearance of Thor and just go sit in the corner. That's why he in here. He wants to see what we got to laugh. <laughs> right? Yeah. Hey, but it's okay. I, I do have I do have a I do have a pass win. It's still right there. My Fantastic Four 10, 6.5. I still got, you know. But I hope I hope he answers this. Tell, I want to know this answer to this question. Did you really order 13? Or would you do a typo? Because I mean, he said nope. To, God. Now look, they are look, I wasn't gonna order one because it seems like these boxes go like every other box. But uh they are doing an X-Men one. Yeah, they're doing an X-Men 1, a Hulk 181, uh, yeah. even that 10.0 silver AF-15 that uh, yeah. I think Jiggs, I talked to Jiggs Keenum, I think he even might order one just for that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they got some big time big time GPs in the next and We round. didn't even mention the, um, uh, what was it, the, um, the Ultimate Fallout 4, the uh, 1 in what, 1 in 25. Or the one oh, in yeah. Whatever yeah. That. We didn't even yeah, mention that. that. It's a 9.6 on there. I'm like, we're sitting here I, talking I, me into buying a box now. <laughs> I'm talking myself into buying a box because I, like I told you before, I skip. Just, I just skip it. Hold my hand. We'll get through I this skip. together. I skip. So I might end up buying one. I hate to say it. Chad will probably hit two of the GPs because he's bought 13. Um, So I don't even know why I'm going to donate to Chad's GP winnings, but. He's guaranteed to get at least one. I'm I'm saying two. Bro. I'm saying two. I hate to say it. I'm saying two. You know, but that kind of sucks. <laughs> to, okay. to if you can afford to take a flyer on 13 boxes at 250 a box, man, I'm pulling for you. I got my fingers crossed, man. I hope you get them all. And I hate to say it. I just did the math. If he just hits the X Men one, he got his money back. So. Oh yeah, easy. So. Easy. Yeah, but I appreciate everybody stopping by, man. Please hit that thumbs up. Please like, share, comment, you know, leave stuff like this. You know, we're gonna try to do this, 
I mean, more often if we get some boxes, you know, but the post office, you never know how the shipping's going to come. So that's how we're going to leave it. Um, I know you had some something big on Instagram. I don't know if you want to share it. Ah. <laughs> so, I saw it. I liked it. You know, so. I don't know which one we're talking about. I don't know. I didn't think I put it on it's a, it's a It's a T-shirt. T-shirt. Oh, but the T-shirts, dude. Yeah. Guys, y'all check out my Instagram. Um, look, I'm just doing this whole comic book thing for fun. It's something to kill some time during COVID and all that. Selling books and all this fun. Um, but I talked to a friend of mine that I went to high school with who makes some T-shirts and, and that kind of thing. And I, I came up. You can see my logo. It's kind of a cross between a fleur de lis and the bat signal. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's got some T-shirts coming for me. Y'all go check them out on IG. If you like them, let me know. I can order a bunch of them. And, uh, you know, I'm not trying to make money off of any of this thing. But, you know, I think they're cool shirts. I put a lot of work into the design. I think it came out really well. And, uh, yeah, check them out. Yeah, I like I like that. I have to say, uh, I think it came out really well. I mean, I'm definitely going to be getting one just, you know, Especially since the wall is kind of, you know, and, you know, then it's like a black and gold, even though it's like Batman slash more of it. You know, for some people, it could people might consider it like uh, Saints, you know. So, yeah. yeah. So it's it's a cross between a lot of genres. And I think a lot of people are going to like it. I mean, I like it. So, um, you know, he's yeah, got his. I, I, tried, I tried to hit up his friend. He hadn't contact me back. So I don't know what's going on. He, he's busy. <laughs> you know, I'll. I'll I'll try and hit him up for you, trying to get him to yeah, get Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. I was, gonna, I was gonna tell you that. Like, see if you can mess I did send him a message. I even said I uh, sent him a DM, and I think I, I was gonna try to email him as well. But you know, I know uh, he's probably busy as crap right now, especially with all that's going on and people just trying to get stuff going on. Man, the chat's going crazy. Let me see. Torpedo has the same. I'm not even gonna mention Torpedo, so we're gonna skip that comment. Sorry, deep dive. <laughs> Torpedo, torpedo is notorious for selling whatever type of boxes you want, and you're getting not even half of the value. Um, we got Hialeah stopped in. What's up, Hialeah? Uh, Doctor Papasan said he just subbed you up. Man, that's what's up. That's Thanks, what's man. Up. Yeah, I appreciate you stopping in, Doctor Papasan, because I don't have many pops, and for a person that you know. Yeah, I don't have any pops. So I appreciate you coming in because a lot of hot people probably wouldn't show up. And Johnny Five Alive is in here as well. So um, I don't know who wants to go first. Um, well, look, let me uh, let me run through a couple of things, and then I'll uh, I got a couple of quick other stuff I can I can open up, and uh, and then I'll go first because I've already opened one, and we'll okay. talk to you and it, it, it you know not a problem, not a problem. Uh, this is my first ever CGC submission. Oh, oh yeah, I got to make you big for that one. I'm just going, and I'm gonna cut open my box to have it prepared. There's, there's, there's ten more books still at CGC because, as we all know, the modern tier is slow as all get out if you don't fast track it. But uh, I've been looking forward to this, so let's see what, see what we got. I think I know what this is, but so I'm not gonna spoil it. So you guys, if you've been following him and following when we chat and stuff like that, you guys probably should know what this book is. And that's uh, all I'm gonna say. I wanted to get this graded for so long, I just never got around to it. All right. <laughs> Officer said, "Make it big, make a big pause." <laughs> I was joking. I gotta show you that. that, that uh, James Harden said pause on a live feed for after the playoff game. <laughs> I got to share it. Uh-oh. Let's see what this is. I know what book it is, I think. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that, he said. So my guess was, uh, you know, I, I have a range. Of, you know, if I got that world-famous – you know, greater who got laid that day, having the day of his life kind of thing. Eight five, hoping eight zero. Was, was this a five. book that was sitting in your box for like a long time? Or is oh, this... dude, I bought. I worked in a comic book shop when I was nineteen years old, and I bought this out of the back bins for like two bucks. Mm. You know, I just I'd go through and hunt first appearances and all that shit. So. Let's see what it is. What y'all think it is gonna be? It looked nice to me. Oh, I saw five. I saw five. Seven five. Ooh. 
Ooh. Off white to light pages. Off white to that's good page quality too, bro. Off white to white pages. Off white to white pages seven five. Uh, for those of you who who aren't familiar, first appearance Ghost Rider Johnny Blaze. Chats yeah. at nine point two. Well, I wish it was a nine point two. Dude, if it was I a nine, was. if it was a nine point two, I'd go out and buy thirteen more V three boxes. <laughs> Nah, but that's still a good grade, man. I know, I know what seven O's are selling for. I don't know what seven point five. Seven O's are over a thousand dollars, I think. Yeah, I don't even know. Um, shout out to the guy that pressed them. Uh, strictly pressing, he's out in California. He did a great job on it. There's still some spine ticks on it, but you know what are you gonna do with a forty year old all black cover? Yeah. But yeah, I mean everything else on it, super clean. I, I'm happy. That's you know, all that matters, man. I'll take a I'll take a seven five on this all day long. Yeah, that's a nice thing. Thunder guy said you know, seven five, awesome, great, congrats. Yeah. He was off the joke and said, "Dang, I was hoping for an eight five when he saw that point five. I know, right? <laughs> I was too. I saw that. I was like, "Oh man!" I said, "I wonder if it was an eight five. <laughs> uh, it 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 legitimately didn't have a chance, but like we all know, you know. Who knows? Chad, if, Chad, if you wrote it, I, I, look, let me point something out to Chad right now. Chad, if you're doing that well on uh at the poker tables, and you say you make you want to buy seven more, me and me and Nola hadn't bought one yet. So you can buy five more and buy us two. Oh, there you go. <laughs> or, you know? or more importantly, <laughs> if you're gonna spend, you know, seven more, make it a grand total of twenty. I, I let me do the math in my head real quick. I think that's about four thousand and fifty dollars. Just go out and buy the GP you want, Chad. <laughs> yeah, why? Yeah, why? Hey, but you know, I know what he's doing. So I think I think it's gonna be some good stuff in that uh overall. I mean, the GPs are just amazing. So I could imagine what you know, because they got some good uh exclusive covers coming out. Those store sixes and you know, some some of those venom. So I know he JP's gonna probably throw in all those exclusives that have been coming out. So uh unknown comics, stop taping your shit. <laughs> I got some from them before and it's it like Scotch tape, really? <laughs> Come on, I gotta take a knife in around the books I just bought. They got they gotta put they could have put it in a plastic bag and then use the scotch if you want to. You know, you don't even have to use any tape if you do it correctly, but Scotch tape is horrible. Come on. Act Chad like said no, Nola hit the GP already. Nah, I don't know. I was joking. I had a freaking journey to Mr. 83. Even though it was a .5, that's still a freaking... <laughs> that's a major first appearance. Chad, if you're talking about that Ghost Rider book, hit me up, brother. I don't I don't think I'm going to keep it. So. so, Unknown Comics picked up three of these. I'm still waiting on mine. They were doing that two for one deal, hard to beat. So, and Thunder God, no, I, I don't think they're sold out because he saves a few for the public. He saves a few for the public um, to go live, but I think he's only going to save fifty for the public, or maybe less than that. It might be twenty five, but yeah. So then I sold out. We and we get links to get the early access since you buy bought one. So actually, I'm looking for my link right now. Well, there's no obvious big win in this one. That's gonna make a mess. <laughs> All right. I think Norse Cali got this same one from his box. Little Sinkevich. Uh, Batman, Dark Knight. Yeah, not my favorite Sinkovich. No, unless you like that type of art, you know what I mean. It's it's grown on me. I didn't used to care for Sinkovich at all, but I don't know. All right, let's see what we got. I'll bet it's a lot like all the books everybody else has been getting. And the same <laughs> all already got. Just saying. I'm just happy I haven't been watching anybody, so I don't even know. Only one I watched was y'all's when you and Norton in of the Joker did. I didn't want to be disappointed. All right. 
Let's see. I don't have a good feeling about this box. <laughs> All right. But that's okay. So you got the Perillo. I think it's Spider-Man 44. That everybody yeah. Does. Yeah. I hate to say that's a it's a twenty twenty to twenty five dollar book. It's not forty. Yeah. Look, well, again, you know, if if you flip books, you're gonna get your value out of these that Spider Man booth boxes. You know. What well, a superior box, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know what this is, but I'm a fan. Tyler Kirkham. Oh. Um, that's a convention exclusive, I think. Yeah, I don't know the book, but I don't. Yeah, I don't know which convention. I don't know the number of the book. It's a Batman one, but I just don't know the. Uh... Oh well, here in the same vein as uh, Scotch tape, JPG, find a better sticker, bro. <laughs> you got to tear these things open. They never open right, and then you got to just waste a bag. What is that? Convention? Yeah, it says custom variant. DC Universe Rebirth Batman number one. All right. Uh, I'm a fan just because I'm a, I'm a mutant guy. I think this is uh, Hellions 3, J.N. Coletto. All right, we'll hold off on those. Let's see. All right. The Del Auto. Gorgeous cover. Some other Batman book with all of his uh, female friends. Well, there's a signed by Bendis, signed by Mickey, uh, Mighty Avengers 11, which uh, I'm pretty sure is not a book anybody cares about, but maybe it is. The McFly Milestone. I uh, think this was what, a, a Kanye swipe? So... Now for the Venom books. Only the issue I have is now everybody has those Venom books, so the price is going to drop. Well, and that's what I was going to say. The only, I mean, I, I, I don't want to be mean about it, but really the only value in a lot of these boxes, if you didn't get some sort of a, a bigger book, is these Venom books, you know? And that's just because these particular issues happen to be super hot right now. And oh, this is cool. I'm glad to get this one. I got the white one. Now, uh, yeah, I haven't seen uh, that one in person. I should say. Uh, version of that. I mean, it's a it's a hundred fifty dollar book on eBay. So one of it's rarer than the white coat. Yeah, I think it is. I actually have a I have a trade dress. Coming in a in a nine eight, I ordered it when he when they first released it. But I'm glad to have this one. I might send this one in. We'll see. I'm still not convinced on the whole uh, crazy venom twenty virus thing. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I mean, you know, compared to my first box, it was mad. But <laughs> yeah, so we'll see. We'll see what I got because I don't know. I'm gonna do it like this though. Let's see. Look at this. You know, we'll see if uh, you know. Telltale sign will be if uh, if there's a. Oh, forgot to open it. It's a little flat. Yeah, hey, Doctor Poppenstein, you're completely right. Uh, almost everything in this box, if not everything in this box, is street level hero, unknown comics. Uh, that Spider-Man booth direct release. Yeah, and I can't, I can't fault him a hundred percent on this because it's. I would say ninety percent COVID. <laughs> And the rest, you know, because he probably would throw a couple in, you know, without COVID. But with the COVID stuff, 
you know, he can't go to conventions to get the exclusives like he normally does. Uh, cause he brings a team with them. He sends them all out, you know, to get these different books. Uh, you know, so it's kind of, I mean, you just, you know, we just got to deal with the kind of almost, <laughs> I hate to say it like that. But, you know, Joker, you might be right. Um, but the last time I checked eBay, the green, uh, the green virgin cover is going for almost twice what the white virgin. And they did, they did a redrop of the white one. A lot of people missed it, but they did do a oh. redrop of the white one. I know this because the 27 had a white one, and I bought both of them. I bought the white 26 and the white 27. It sold out pretty quickly. It wasn't, uh, it was quick enough where I couldn't send people say, hey, bro, they got this one on sale. So, you know, again, but let's see. Uh, uh oh, I can tell you I got a slab box. Woo! I can tell you that because I was trying to get the box and I was like, why well, can't grab the box? <laughs> I'll go through the little stickers and show my little print. So you can see the size of this box. So, thanks. So, uh, I saw another dude on IG. I can't remember who it was who opened one up. And he got almost, uh, it was the same book that I got, that nine signature sketch cover. Yeah. With a different sketch on the cover. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see what the print is. And I like it. Like, like, I think you said it. I think a few other people said it. I'm happy it's not multiple, multiple prints. Um, yeah, I, I have really, I have nowhere to display them. And the only kind of stuff, you know, I kind of been putting them back here. Um, you know, they're stacked up behind each other. I'm um, showing Sonic. I don't want to show Sonic. Sonic is not a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that one. Boss Logic. Boss Logic Thanos with death. You can't really see it because it's so dark. It's so dark. Like even in the freaking light, you can't even see it that well. He did a I don't know if he did a series like that or what, but there's a Moon Knight one where he's sitting in that same kind of throne that is He should have added some more whites or something, something to it to make it light up, because in they have two statues here. Uh, you barely can see them. Yeah, I didn't even see him until you pointed him um, out. Um very detailed. Very detailed. But it's two statues. Like you see, you barely can see death. If I wouldn't have kind of said it, you probably would have just been like, Oh, is that a figure or something? But uh I still don't see death. <laughs> she's like right there. Oh there, okay. okay. Whispering like, in the ear. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's a badass print, but it's uh like I said, it's too dark. You'd have to in person you can see a lot of stuff, but even then it's very Hard to see because there's skulls down here that I'm just noticing. The skulls down here, and then you know I'm just just being kind of picky on the print. It's a it's an awesome print though. It's an awesome print. It's just you know you can't, I mean come on boss, why do you brighten that sucker up with that computer you use? <laughs> you know, shoot, you know it's all digital. And I gotta hurry up and do my uh. And the V13, just to let people know, dropped the 24. So he still has that one available, but I guarantee you might only have 20 to 5, 25 to 50. I'm just I'm just gonna display this one to make me feel better. So <sighs> nine. Good luck. Uh hope you get the nine nine turtle flag. That would be nice. I haven't seen anybody win that one. I haven't seen anybody win that one. And it'd be kind of a funny thing because um I don't. I have it behind the Black Panther drawing that uh, uh, Leche did. Uh, I think that's how you say his name. But uh, I won a was it a Peter Lear and a Kevin Eastman drawing. Like Kevin Eastman did the uh, Kevin Eastman did the um, coloring, and it was a Peter Lear sketch. So let's open this up. I already saw one of the book that slid. But I think I got one of those Venom 26s. I don't know. I hope it's the version one, the green. But I don't like version one. So since I saw it, I'll go with that one first. Oh, that's a good. No, never mind. I picked the wrong book. <laughs> this is the milestone edition with uh, the Poo, Poo, Punisher. Punisher? Number is that one. the one in 100 or the one in 10? Uh, This is only 50 of them. Oh. There's only 50 of them. This is 31 out of 50. JP McFly exclusive cover. I remember when he did this one. So, milestone edition. 
So let me get the book I actually saw. I'm just trying to get that one over with. <laughs> there we go. Venom 26. Trade dress. Trade dress. Yeah, roughly $25, $30 book, I think, if I'm not mistaken. It's pretty good. I mean, I, I had ordered one. Uh, I wish uh, I wish Marvel would put the number on the back of the trade dress issues and just put like the title and the Yeah, cuz this I mean, I'm not going to lie, like if you put this on the back, like some they do that sometimes. The Venom on in the background is better. I like it better than the version. Yeah, me too. I like I like having the title up there, but yeah, if you just do like this. Yep. <laughs> that's badass. Yep. That's <laughs> super cool. Yeah, I wish yeah. they would do that. Let's see what else we got. Oh, that Magneto that I've seen. Yeah, Perillo. Actually, it's, you know, I think I don't even know what I forgot. I don't forgot what y'all said. You know, what issue is this? But. I think it's another cover of the uh, the new giant size X Men. Oh, I oh, I gotta get the. Um, speaking of the new giant size X Men, did you see the Storm cover? No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Talking about it, I don't want to say too much about. It. I gotta, I gotta see where I can get it from. That's why I'm, you know, I think a lot of people have gotten this one. Let me know. So, yeah, I, I don't think I don't know if the shop is gonna get them, but uh, I might okay. have to. I mean, I hate to go on eBay, and I'm trying to see if any of the sites have it. But yeah, Storm is is pretty nice. That's all is I can it? say. Hey, look, I know that book. Yeah, I've seen this book. I think everybody got this book. <laughs> <laughs> Is that is that another cover for the GSX? Is that that storm cover? Yes, yes. It's a giant size. The giant size X Men. It's yeah. a. I don't know. I don't know if it's store exclusive or just a burial variant, but it's it's nice. You know. Oh, there you go. This is the death metal. Not the one in twenty five. It's just. No, I'll bet Dark the one in twenty five is next though. Dark Knight Death Metal is one. Um, Five bucks says the one in twenty five is the next book. You think? <laughs> ah, Peach Momoku. <laughs> Peach Momoku. And I looked at this cover. I think it's pretty nice. You know, it's actually a nice Peach Momoku cover. Yeah, some are some are like not really good, and some are really good. So there you go. We got some. Uh, I'm getting more of the trade dress uh, Venom twenty sixes. And this is another one, just like you said, example. Just take this part off with that venom in the background. Look at that. Yeah, dude. It's so much, it'd be so much better. So just some nitpicky stuff, you know. Yeah. Marvel. You know, Marvel, they I've seen them put the numbers in the back, so they can do it. I got two left, two left. I'll just pick this one. Oh. That's the virgin, I think, huh? Virgin is a virgin second print, or is it secret virgin? I don't know. I, I've lost track, dude. I don't they all know. Start to look the same. Yeah, I know it's from the. I know this panel is from the story. Oh, this is twenty five. This is the twenty five. Uh, I think uh, second print virgin variant or something. Yeah, because I remember I read uh, twenty five, and this is their cameo. And that's why they call it their cameo. You know, it's barely a cameo virus, but you see more of Codex. Yeah. yeah. Um. So. And since I ordered some, I hate to say it, those probably be for sale because I already ordered some and I ordered the was it the black and white ones? So yeah. Oh, there you go. Now I haven't seen anybody get I don't know if I seen anybody get this one. I got that one. Oh, the black and white? Yep. If I remember anything about the black and white, these virgins uh Wolverines, they tend to pretty much hold their value. I mean, not bad. Uh, not bad. I mean, if you go through the value, just for the raw books, I think I got my money back. You know. Um, What's up, Gamma? Just to let people know. So, I'm not. I'm not upset. You know. I wish I would have got a better the Savages exclusive, like everybody else got. <laughs> I, I sent mine to Thoro. I oh yeah. Savage written across some girl's tits. I might as well send it to him. <laughs> Oh man, the Punisher one. I'm trying to think who likes Punisher. <laughs> so the last but not least is the slab. So I'm trying to get it out, make sure I have it the correct way. All right, this is the back. So I'm actually gonna close my eyes. 
Oh, damn. Welcome to the Signature Club. All right. So we got a sketch <laughs> and a whole bunch of signatures. I'll bet it's nine of them. <laughs> uh, you got Alex Regal, Colin Bunn. Uh, Fabrice. Gary. Yeah, Scott Kubash, Robbie Thompson. Um, trying to see if anybody that worked on this book signed it. No, uh, I guarantee it's the, it's the same list that I got. There must have been a, a panel at some point where someone just got all those books signed by everyone sitting on the panel. Yeah, so it's it's sketch and signed by a Dosco Carna. I don't even know who that is. And then they actually they actually got a little head sketch too. Somebody did. Somebody, I don't know who did that. Who did the head sketch? That's right, Alex. I like that one oh, better. Than Alex, Alex Regal did a, a little head sketch when he signed. So I don't, you know. I don't know much about it. But uh Yeah, it's know. very cool. So Still no feet, like uh, uh, <laughs> life in, in the grandest of Deadpool traditions. Yeah, it's just like life. Though, so, um, I don't know much about like you know sketches and stuff like that, but it does have. Let me see how many signatures we got. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six signatures, oh. but actually one full sketch with color and a and a remark. Yeah. So. So, and surprisingly, this got a 9.8 because I can see a fingerprint like right here. <laughs> so, it's pretty funny when you see like fingerprints. This is going to be on auction soon. Probably, I don't know, probably not. I'll tell you that, obviously, probably not. Uh, I ended up selling mine to uh, help raise money for uh, Jabroni. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. Um, it might be for sale somewhere else, but not on auction. Uh, I'll let you decide. Oh, oh, <laughs> first edition stopped. Then <laughs> he said, "I'll let you decide." <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, I can tell you that one. This one probably won't show up in auction. And you might see it on eBay or something, but yeah, it's not gonna, not gonna get on the auction. So overall, I think I'm happy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm happy. <laughs> The reason why I say that because I was Check. actually hoping for the real grand prize that I don't think anybody has claimed yet. Or I haven't seen a picture of it. Is the Turtle One Thousand yeah. yeah. gold cover, the nine point nine? That's what I really was hoping for. You know, you know, people know me. You know, so a Turtle Collector. That's the book I definitely would have kept. You know, I definitely would have kept. So, you know, yeah, yeah, I might sell a Deadpool. I'll be honest, but uh, a lot of these books I already ordered, like the Venoms. I hate to say it. <laughs> I already ordered the Venoms. <laughs> so you can't fault me on that. I already ordered the Venom. And, and I ordered the rare ones. Like a lot of stuff with that Spider-Man booth, guys, the other advantage to getting these things is it enters you into yet another drawing for some other big-time books. He yeah. forgot to enter me on, not the last one, but the one before that. <laughs> so The V11s. <laughs> I mean, not know, the V11s, the V10s. He, make, the V10s. he, he make, forgot to put me on you make your Instagram post, you throw up your uh, hashtags for like that Spider-Man booth and V12 and you're entered into uh, another drawing for, I don't know, like I said, usually they give away big time books. So. Mm -hmm. They actually do. Um, I've never won from the Superior, like the Superior show. Um, but I've won from the regular show. So Yeah, I've, uh, I've won the... Uh, the Insta Monday deal once. Yeah, which I still got. That's the one I'm actually going to get sent off to get pressed and clean and graded. It's my hip hop one. I got Malibu Sun 13. So hopefully everybody uh and like this like this unboxing. Um I wish I was more of a Deadpool fan. Um but you know, it is what it is. It's nice though. I like yours better than mine. <laughs> and, well, mine's not nine times sign. It's only uh, six times, though. Yeah, but you got. I like the color sketch and the remark. And 
El Dusco Corna. I'm going to have to look him up, though. Alex Regal, I've heard of. He's the one who did the sketch on Mon. That's why I heard of him. Yeah, he did. <laughs> look him up. He's got some interesting work. Yeah, I mean, I can tell because, I mean, if you look at the little head sketch, the head sketch is really, actually, really good. Yeah. Like, a lot of detail. Like, the um, little little sketch with just eyes and, you know, you know, Colin Bunn could have did something. Come on, Colin. Oh, a little head sketch on it. <laughs> Oh, so appreciate everybody stopping in. Text Alex says my V12 box was uh not too good. That's how I'll leave it like that. <laughs> um, I've been seeing it's either going to be good, a li- you know, maybe more in the medium or not so good. So, you know, it's all about those. If you get kind of get those rare Venom covers, then that kind of makes it, you know. I was going to say that's all the value in these boxes at this point is uh, yeah whatever. Yeah. Venom- because yeah, if, you, if you get if you get this one, it's not bad. Um, I don't know what it sells for, but I know it's not bad. But if you get like the the virgin for this one, you know, way better. And then if you got the virgin or the black and white for this one, then it's yeah, you know. So you know, you're looking at if you have the black and white or the virgin, that's over a hundred dollars. Version of this one's fifty dollars, and this is a whole different one because this is the white background. Yeah. Um, and then I think I forgot what this one was selling for, but I think it's like. Forty dollars too. So, well, this one was like their secret release or whatever they were called. I don't know the mm-hmm. secret cover. I don't know. Yeah, so not a hundred percent sure, but you know, it's all about if you get the mix and match correctly in the, you know, you know, Peach Momoko sells. I hate to say it. So. That's all I got. So he said my print was horrible. <laughs> he said next time I'll put up a video. So. That is the uh, that is the grand prize that you know we'll show that up close again. Look at that. That's a grand prize that was not in a box. <laughs> Gamma said his V12 was fire. I, I don't even know. I didn't see you open it. Gamma. I was gonna say, Gamma, did you did you post? I didn't see it. Yeah, so that's that. So I appreciate everybody stopping in. Officer Joker, Texas Collector, Gamma, who else? First edition. Hope you're doing well, sir. Pop, Dr. Poppenstein. Um, what else we got? Who else we had in here? Like Thunder God Comics. <coughs> Chad. Chad was in here. Well, he stepped away from the poker tables. He joined us. Uh, um, Gamma. I see what you did there, Gamma. <laughs> what he said. He said his box was fire because he didn't get one. Oh, all right. All right. I mean, all in all, my value is there. So, you know, I, you know, I'm not really, I'm not upset. I'm not, you know, I'm not enthusiastic because I didn't get, you know, any books that I really want. Right. But I, I can't be upset about it because the value is over the top. You know, it's over the top. Uh, try to get a sketch, color sketch by anybody that does art. I already questioned a few people who are not like working for Marvel, DC, these uh, publishers, and they want a couple hundred dollars. <laughs> they yep. want a couple hundred dollars. You know, this guy and all a lot of the signatures people are actually published people, you know. So, you know, so you're you looking at more than, you know, DLE stopping in at the end. Man, you got to see the, you know, what we got DLE. Uh, so, um, that's all I got. I'm happy. Like I said, I'm overall happy because like the value with these boxes, I have to tell people you want the value to be there or exceed the value. My box exceeded the value, you know. So did I get anything I really, really wanted? Probably that rogue with the dinosaur. I like. I saw a lot of people like had that one, and um, the Wolverine one with Omega Red, the black and white one, which I didn't have. Yep. And I would say the Venom ones, but I ordered them. So <laughs> I can't, you know, I can't, you know, I would have been like happy with the Venom ones, but I ordered the black and white ones. So, but all in all, I'm happy. Value is over the top, you know. So I saw your two boxes, you know, when you did an estimate, you know, just in the one box, your value was there. So, yeah. yeah so, uh, so hope everybody checks them out, man. Superior boxes, I think, are the ones that definitely to shoot for. Um, you know, shout out to everybody in chat again. 
Um, we're gonna end this because we've been going for 45 minutes. Damn. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Wolverine was sick. Yeah, yeah I see. Yeah. I don't even know if you saw it. Uh, text. I didn't even know you were in here when you saw it, but yeah. The Wolverine, black and white, is pretty nice. So, see everybody later. Hope everybody has a good one. Um, I don't have anything else going on. I'm not still 100% sure if I'm going to do an auction this Thursday. Um, but I'll let people know. Um, so that's all I got. So you guys have a wonderful evening. Peace out, guys. Thanks, y'all.